So Jan, he's coming by today because I want to do this project with him. But because it's also Jan, he's going to try to murder us all with Nerf guns. The thing is, Jan has never been able to get a full team wipe. And I think it's because he has a slight handicap. Basically, Jan's missing his pinky finger. Do you know how he actually lost his finger? Uh, well, I heard that he lost it in a blender. Like it was a mad weird blender incident. I heard it was in a threshing accident in the old country. Every story he tells us, he says is the right story. But I want to know the real story. So what if I do him such a nice favor that he has no choice but to give me the real story? And that is why I asked him to come by the studio today. Did you hear that? Yeah. I'm here to upgrade myself. Well, Ren's going to upgrade me. He's going to give me a whole hand. So this all started when I found a 3D printed prosthetic finger on Thingiverse, and it turns out the guy who made that, named Nick, has a whole website dedicated to this prosthetic. He wrote an entire program that takes measurement inputs from your finger stump, and it'll actually generate an entirely new 3D model specifically designed for your finger socket. So you've already read up about this guy a little bit because you share an injury and you're like, I can relate to this guy. I mean, we, we have very, very similar stories there. See, I was kidnapped by the old man that lives out in the sawmill and I was tied to a, a, a log and being put through a logging machine. And you know, I was trying to push the rope toward the saw and my finger got caught in there. Luckily it got the rope, uh, I, I got free and then, you know, we, we duked it out for a while and yeah, yeah. What happened to the old man? Oh man. <laughs> <laughs> We're actually real good friends. He feels pretty bad about the finger. So I know Jan likes butterfly knives and like spinning blade tricks. And I heard he was using like a cigar cutter. It's kind of like a fidget spinner in a bar once. And it pinches him right up against his body as he's spinning it. And I guess the rest is history. <laughs> All right, so here's what happened. Jan, as a teenager, used to work in a morgue. He helped his dad out. One night they were staying late. He was down with the bodies. He heard a sound. What did, what, what, did you see something or did you hear something? I heard the scrape of, of what I could only call a, a creature too large for the room. And as I was running, just, just pulling myself through the room, I remember seeing red. Somewhere around the stairs, I realized I was missing a finger. Was that before or after you got kidnapped? What is before? What is after? I have reasons to suspect that maybe that story was a little embellished. You sully my name, sir. Well, I mean, I don't have to make this thing for you. Oh, oh, oh. I would like to have a new finger. Tell you what, Jim. If I succeed in making you a new prosthetic finger, you have to tell me the real story. That is an interesting dilemma, isn't it? Yes. I have to take the lavaliers. I have to make sure there are no recording equipment going. And then you may have that story in exchange for a functioning hand. Deal. All right, Jan, I think we are ready to start taking measurements. I have been waiting for this since I lost my finger in that deep underground military base in the desert. It's really important we get these measurements right so that this thing will actually fit. I don't want this to be a gimmick. I don't want him to throw this away the moment this video is over. I want him to actually find usefulness out of this thing. So for that to work, it has to fit him well and it has to work well. 
I want to wear this. I want this to be a new part of my look. Putting on a prosthetic should be as comfortable as possible so you are actually going to use it. The second it's more of a hindrance than it is a help, what's the point? So we got the most important measurements taken. The reason why the socket is the most important part is because it is the point of contact between the prosthetic and your hand. And so that is where all the force is gonna be applied. That's where all the abrasive like rubbing is gonna be applied. You wanna make sure that is the most comfortable fit as possible. Because after we're done with V1, I'd like a knife finger. I'd like a- You know uh, what? I do actually legitimately think we can do that. <laughs> 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 uh, okay, so I guess now I just gotta go sit down on my computer and see if I can actually input these things. This is where a bunch of problem solving occurs, where I try to just get something that works. This is supposed to be easy. This is supposed to be the simplest thing ever. But no, Jan's involved, so it's not simple. I mean, that's pretty much par for the course of my entire life, so yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, let's just see how it looks. So Jan, this is not a good quality print. What happened? Anyway, um, this in theory should fit. Nah, there's too much room. That's way too much room. Yeah. What about length and stuff? Nah, it needs, it needs to be a wee bit longer. So I think it's just a matter of shrinking that diameter. Dang, I was really hoping this was gonna fit a lot better. I just gotta print a bunch of variations, I think. So I think I might just make small little variations. Jen's gonna come by tomorrow afternoon and hopefully by then I'll just have like a selection of variations. And I'm gonna try each one out on Jan to see which one fits the best. Oh God, <laughs> I am just, oh hold up. Oh! <gasps> okay, so I've done some printing, Jan. I can't wait to see. Oh, shut up. You got like a full finger apparatus going. I printed three different versions of the socket. Sure. And this is in the, the flexible. Uh, oh, yeah, shut up. It's TPU. So I'll have you try these on one at a time to see which one fits the best. Let's start with this one. I mean, that does not feel terrible. I'll tell you that right now. If it was a little longer, it'd be, uh, I think, a little more secure. How does like the squeeze feel? Feels good. Okay, so these two are gonna be a little bit different. Well, let's give it a shot. It feels looser, but the fact that it's holding and I don't, I don't feel pressure on it, I think that's actually a good sign because maybe this I would forget about after a while, you so know? This has a bit of a bigger taper. So yeah, this one legit feels like I would eventually forget about it. Like it would just, uh, okay. uh, after a period of time. Whereas this yeah. one, it felt more snug. Exactly. Too tight, like tight to a point of uh, discomfort. I would like it to feel like it's not gonna come off, but I could also Is forget this about it. This is what it's gonna look like on you. <laughs> that would be radical. Just, oh, get a little knife on the end of that. Yeah, that would be amazing. That is cool, it does look good on you. I need to mark that one, that's the one you want. I still gotta figure out exactly how the linkage system works. And additionally, I need to actually get a proper print of that socket. Jan, you are this much closer to being able to do this. To the power of 10. So check this out. We have this actual working prosthetic finger. It's actually kind of funny. This was actually a little bit more challenging to put together than I anticipated. I don't know if this is technically the way that it goes together, but you know what? It does work. There's like basically the series of strings. There's three separate strings woven inside here. Two are elastic, one is this high strength fishing line, and they each serve different purposes. The two elastic strings serve one purpose, which is to actually keep the thing extended straight, and then the braided fishing line here serves a second purpose of actually pulling it close. This will go on Jan's stump of a finger, like so. So then the idea is that this attaches to there, so then every time the finger then bends forward, it causes the fingers to bend. Biomechanics! Took billions of years to get to this point, and I made it in a day. <laughs> so the big thing is I'm just gonna have to grind down these center pins for the hinges. I need to file the actual gray plastic parts here so that they're smoother with less friction, and make sure that I can print the TPU bit without having an entire layer shift two millimeters into the print. My hope is that Jan actually is able to use this. Next time he comes in, it's because I need to deliver the final thing to him. Because if I don't do that, I'll never hear the real story from Jan. What up? I'm kind of curious, how did you lose your finger? Well, so remember that, um, it was this video for Far Cry. 
a part of the script required Sam to lose his pinky on set, right? It was a knife going into a pinky. That was supposed to be the gag. But the effect was actually so difficult, they started saying, well, it'd be way easier if someone just actually did it. I'm no wuss. So when someone said, just cut off your finger. That's why that looks so real. Yeah, exactly, exactly. I've got it working. I've got it working. Check this out. It works. And now I just got to fit it to Jan. So there's a little bit of left to do, but it requires a Jan stubby McNugget here to actually work. Wait, that's Jan. Is that Jan? Is he here? Did you hear, Did that you hear the doorbell? Fuck me. Dude, you can clear this off. And you missed? Oh, where's Sam and Nisha? Wait, are you actually gonna get a team sweep? I might. Yes! You got him! Come here. <laughs> you did it! I can't believe you just got the natty team wipe. Full natty team wipe. All right, Jen. Enough of the team wipe. I gotta give you the finger. I, I, I can't wait to receive the power of 10. <laughs> oh man, oh man, that's so cool. That's good. Yeah. <gasps> <laughs> no, it feels comfy. We're gonna make Jan a little bracelet real quick. This bracelet is gonna go on his wrist and that's what we're actually gonna tie the ligament to that will actually cause the whole finger to curl closed. Yeah, yeah. It's working? We're in there. Oh my God, it's working! It's working! You made a pivotal mistake, Ren. You should have never given me the power of Yeah, Dude, that's so crazy to see. Give me, give me one of these. Yeah! <laughs> this can was just open. If you could pick this up with just your thumb and pinky, I'd be incredibly impressed. <laughs> <laughs> There's like all these muscles in my hand that I don't think I've ever activated. Uh, it's a weird right, feeling. Yeah. Weird yeah. feeling. Because all those yeah. muscles would have atrophied from never being used. Yeah. yeah. Alright, before we go show everyone, I have one more surprise gift for you. Okay. Shut up. <gasps> it's a knife finger. <laughs> I modeled and printed this this morning. Flick the pain, flick the pain, flick. I think I may have unleashed too much power into this world. You really do have nice hair, Nico. Do you do anything to that hair? Pinky swear? This is the first <laughs> left handed pinky swear. <laughs> it's a corrupted pinky swear. That's really cool. Yeah. So these are my, my greaves. Um, I wear them when I ride wine wheels and that combined with the finger works so well. Let's see it, yeah! Oh yeah. <sighs> do you feel that pinky really on there? I do, it doesn't even feel any different. It feels yeah. like it's part of you. Wow, mm -hmm. I've never felt the grasp of your pinky before. Well, at least on this hand. <laughs> Sanitize your hands now, Sanitize That's your hands. Cool. All right, Jan. It is time. I fulfilled my side of the bargain. I deserve the pure story. I absolutely will give you that story. I'm reiterating. No mics in the room, no no tomfoolery. You get the story and you alone. And uh, yeah, you have given me the power of 10. I have to give you the power of pure truth, pure knowledge. Dude, Nick, you won't believe the dream I just had. I guess I'll never actually learn what the real story is behind Jan's finger. If you think you know what it is, leave a comment down below. I'd like to read what you think. In the meantime, thanks for watching. Subscribe for more videos like this. But for now, 
Nighty-night.